What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Queen Steez and... Kitty. And we are back for another video. So, I told y'all to ask us some questions for Q&A since y'all mm -hmm. been waiting for so long and y'all want us to come back. Question. We gonna come back and answer all your questions. If you are new here to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure you hit this like. Give us a thumbs up so we can get this video back in the algorithm. And yeah, if you like this song on the intro, go download that because that is me okay yeah we'll see y'all in the video when i come through man you know that i be big balling work hard play hard man i put my all in the deals getting bigger man they won't stop calling they thinking that i'm mellow when i'm just recharging work hard play hard man i put my all in the deals getting bigger man they won't stop calling they thinking that i'm mellow when i'm just recharging just recharging all right, y'all, so we are going to get straight into the questions. The first one mm -hmm. that we got um, is from, I didn't even write what it was from. My bad, y'all. But if this is your question, get down in the comments to let us know what's your question or say thank you or whatever you want to say. Okay, so the first person said, I am an RN student, so they're in school to be a registered nurse. Okay. What's the best advice you can give me going into this career? Please and thank you. Um... The best advice, yeah. my whole thing is um, just listen. Um, be receptive of what they're trying to teach you. Be open-minded. Um, now, hopefully you get somebody, you know, that's willing to teach and teach and everything. But not only that, ask questions. Mm -hmm. um, no dumb questions. No questions are dumb questions. So that's when they feel you asking more questions, that's when they... So like teaching you, teaching you more, you more yeah, and you want to learn. learn more. Um, tell them you want to do things, you know, if if it comes to, you know, anything as far as hands on with the patient, they will love it, like literally. And the more that you do, the more that you have that trust with your nurse that's teaching you. And then also it'll help you, you know, as far as with your skills when you become a nurse, that way you be more sufficient when it comes to the patient, the bedside care. And you won't always rely on your PCT that, that you'll need help from. Yeah, and listen to your text. That was like the shit. Yeah. Listen to your text. And listen to your text. We see that a lot. Like, yeah. when people are nurses or registered nurses, yes. they'll be like, they just, like, discount the text. That's like, remember that one time uh, on E told yeah. somebody, listen, this oh, patient goodness. pressures was dropping. Yeah. They were sitting in the Dramatic. chair. Aunt E was a been a tech for what about fifty years? Longer, longer than yes. and longer than fifty years. She was there years. when they built, built that the unit. Yeah. Built that so unit. this person been here in the, in the unit for yeah. over sixty years working cardiac, and she mm -hmm. kept telling the nurse it was a little them, young nurse fresh out of school. Like kept telling them like you know your pressure is dropping, soft, your... It's dro dropping, and he was like, oh no, that's just um the, the A line just got some um what is it? He said the A line is is it's not it's positional. Right. That's what he told him. The A line was positional, so she said okay. So she went to the educator, which was one of our senior senior nurses, mm -hmm. and pulled her like, "Hey, come look at this because I don't believe that this is positional. This is this is real." Yeah. <laughs> so of course, what she do, and of course our educator, who our senior one, she went, and damn behold, and they like the undertaker, like, yeah. and they like the undertaker. <laughs> was like, about to almost check out. Right, right. It Literally. was so crazy. And and they all ran in there, and all, you mm -hmm. and you would think that he would have said thank you to all E. He Act like he saved the whole day, and no, and that's another and thing. And the crazy thing about it is that provider that was, you know, even in the provider was like, when your tech come to you or anyone come to you, do not ignore them. Exactly, because this is what can and literally, like he couldn't say anything, but I believe he did apologize to her. Didn't like, he, yeah, he had to, because because I think the educator poured him in with her was like you need to don't yeah. do that don't just write them off because you never if anything yeah, some you people get a little like complex her. or they feel like yeah. they don't want to uh yeah but she change the patient turn it, the patient uh, people mm, be doing a lot so it's, it is like be receptive to learn be open-minded mm -hmm. Don't think you never too above doing anything. Exactly. If it's something on the floor in your patient room, because a lot of people be like, oh, that's housekeeping job. No, it's no, everybody's, everybody's job. job. Pick it up. Don't be trifling. You got the people to take medicine yeah. out the pack and they throw it on the floor and say, oh, housekeeping going to pick it up. Like, yeah. what? who raised y'all? Because for one, Ugh. that patient is going to be a reputation of you. Yeah. So, you know. Your patient look messy in the bed, look a hot mess. 
they gonna judge you. You gonna be the one at the nursing station or when people mm-hmm. come to get report, they gonna say, uh, yep. I'm following such and such. I know that room a mess. I know this. Yeah, I'm telling you. You don't want that. So <laughs> definitely. Definitely take advice to you, you know, your um, you know, from your peers that's gonna be training you or just, you know, in general, the nurses or the sex like just take advice. I yeah. say, you know, um, just be open minded and just apply what can use for you that can help you. Exactly. That's what I'm gonna say. Take away from stuff what you need because as you can hear, it's a lot of drama that go mm-hmm. on. It's a lot of personality. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of that. And sometimes everybody not going to be peaches and cream right. and nice and want to help you. And like I said, when I first came mm-hmm. to the unit, everybody was to like the ICU. Everybody was kind of like in their mm-hmm. own world. And it seemed like they was ignoring you or it seemed like they were being mean. But they really weren't. Mm-hmm. They were just about their business. You just got to take from it mm-hmm. what you need and keep it moving. And don't take right. stuff personal. I mean, unless it is personal. And yeah. Get that way. Yeah. And. Most ICUs, I can say everybody work together. Yeah. And literally, like... That's like one of the best units I'm on. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. I really miss it, but... I see you. I don't miss I it enough to say be, but... ICUs are it's more... Like yeah, it's more like a family. Like, you yeah. want to get the help. I can say that that's a difference from the ICUs than a regular and floor. I feel like you get to learn... I don't know. Like, I just feel like you get to learn each other's yeah. strengths and weaknesses. Yeah. So you like it's like I know this mm-hmm. person gonna need help with this right. or this not that strong suit and I say no let me go help you or let me right. go make sure you straight so yeah yeah just I think you'll be fine yeah, and you'll be fine early congrats girl make sure you make it to the you end got it. make you it got to the this. end and you come back and you let us know yeah let, let us you know catch your in clax go to I see you <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And oh, and don't think as a new grad, you can't go straight to the ICU. Mm-hmm. You do not have to work on the med search no, floor. No, you don't. You can't go straight you to the ICU. You can't go straight to the ICU, but it may be challenging. Right. But you got to be up for the challenge. Right. So, if you can stand, you, you can achieve that. it. Yes. Per. Okay. So, they said, when did you two meet? We met at work. <laughs> we met at work. So, I told y'all that I used to work in the ED, and then I came up so to fire unit when she was already working at. So, that's what we met. What, what year was that? that? What year 2017, because that was after I had gave that man the beat down on the ED. Oh, <laughs> I gave him the beat down, baby. <laughs> okay. Oh, what was your first impression? Do you remember when you first met me? Um, my first impression of her. Um, honestly, I thought she was mean. I ain't gonna lie, because she was quiet. Yeah, I was quiet. She yeah, was I quiet. Because I'm like, damn, is she gonna talk to anybody? But she didn't talk to nobody. I'm it's so happy, so like out. she slowly opened up, literally, like slowly opened up, mm-hmm. and I was like, okay. I mean, and of course she opened up to me. And it's my sister. Yeah, and ever since then it's been on, literally, because <laughs> yes. you know, literally, like we went to Christmas parties together. We went out together, lunch. This family she that I be at home. Lunch. She <laughs> wouldn't eat my food, but she damn sure let me know where I fucked up at. It was like, uh-uh, no. Nah. But, but you be cooking I mean, that. I mean, I learned. You be I in learned. the pots a little bit. You be in the pots now. I be now. trying. I be trying. But yeah. <laughs> she be in the pots yeah. a little bit. And then, you know, that's when we started letting other people in. Then that's when we came up with our little group. Our little group. But y'all can't know about our group. Man, y'all can't know about yeah, the group. Yeah, but now. it's a group. Don't nobody know. But then when, you know, when certain people found out, like, oh, well, we not, we can't get in the <laughs> Like, what? No, it's not that type of group. Right. No. It's only with them. We had to form an alliance. No. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> got to, only an alliance. This the one you got to, you got to put your hand on the Bible. Yeah. <laughs> we got to swear you in. We got to swear you in. Yes. That's it. Okay. Somebody said, can we get a bull hospital story <laughs> You know oh, what story what? I already going to tell? What? No, Don't say when what you're going to do on that piano. <laughs> no. Oh. Oh, my, oh, my goodness, y'all. We should have no. him know. When, when he was in the car, when he was saying. No. Who? Oh. Remember when that lady peed on you? <laughs> peed on you? She was mad. I mean ass. Girl, I was mad as hell. All the patient peed on that. <laughs> Y'all just. Girl, I'm be talking. She was talking. She was so mean. But she couldn't talk. She had, she had a trait. She had a trait, but she still couldn't. Yeah, but she was me, and I see why her ki- her grandkids ain't come see yeah, her. Yeah, but remember how they was up there all that time in the beginning when they thought she was about to crow. Yeah. As soon as they see Dude, her, she was still kicking. They, they was scared. And I'm like, yeah, they left her to, for us to deal with. But like she, she was mean. She was calling the police. Yeah, she did. <laughs> ain't no she did call she the police. Calling the police she kept calling the police on us, and then she would hit. 
That was, <laughs> yeah. Get on my nerve. And I was even like, what the fuck is that? What do you want to pack outside my bed? <laughs> Are you in? Yeah. What's hot? And I'd be like, and this one, always like, they coming, they coming. <laughs> we we'll send them in. And I'm like, you She right. didn't want nothing. She did. She did. She was she so tiny, though. She was a yeah. little thing. She reminded me of my grandmother, though. Because that's how she, my, bird, that's how my grandmother bird was. She reminded me of her. But I'll never forget when she pissed on me. Like, I just got that hot warmness on my I was, legs. I was like, that and I was so like, I mad. know you not doing what I think you doing. And yeah, she literally she looked did. in my face. And I was like, you got to be kidding me. She sure you did. Know? Whole leg was hot. Yeah, and, no, she just, I know. and I'm pissed. Like, I literally, was like, she was standing there, eye to eye. And I'm like, I was she like, hate to do this. She shit. did it on purpose. I she was just like, I was like, oh my goodness. Daniel was like, I know you not know. So I was looking like, I'm like doing what? Yeah, and and my like, leg got hot. My damn leg got hot. I felt warm. She was quiet for the rest of the day though. <laughs> she <laughs> ought to be. Because she did that shit to be smart. She and I know she did. She did. <laughs> so this to the mm-hmm. RA student. Bring an extra pair of scrubs. Please do. Keep them in your locker. Shoes. Scrub shoes, a washcloth, a towel, everything, everything in your that you locker. might need. Yeah, bring Literally. everything. Because <laughs> I damn sure don't wash, take nothing home after it been exposed on. I thought that should be the trash. Right in the trash. Shoot. Yeah. I still I got my I still got my emergency bag in my car. I don't yeah. need it as much, but I got one yeah. still. I keep a backup. Mm-hmm. Now I've learned. I really have learned. Somebody else asks, what do you doing if your coworker eats your food? Mm. <laughs> and who's your answer to that one? Oh, we had some incidents when I don't know about you, but I know I had incidents when somebody ate my food. I did too. After remember my I had my Boston Market dinner, and you know who did? Then, 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 who? Then, then, oh, my dad, my dad, he ate it. He's holding you down. Listen, because I was you, looking for. Okay, he told you that's something. Different. No, I found out because I didn't have no lunch that day. Oh my god! So listen, yo, this what I. So this what I used to do. I mean, you know, sometimes when your funds might get low, you keep so, extra stuff. Yeah, like I keep extra stuff in the freezer. So I'm gonna buy a little Boston Market dinner. So, but I put it in the freezer, in the community freezer. I had my name on on a post it note, and it was there for a long time. So that's how I discovered it. I didn't have no lunch that day, so I was like, oh. Let me go eat my Boston Market right. Salisbury steak. You know, with that mashed potatoes and the Salisbury <laughs> steak. I was like, ooh, because y'all, them Boston Market Salisbury steak yeah. is good. When you hungry, so I'm, I'm looking in the freezer high and low, and he having me picking up overtime. So I said, somebody ate my goddamn Boston Market dinner, so I started going off about it. Oh, my God. And then he was like, uh, he was like, I ate it. I said, you what? He said, Wait a he didn't see your name on it? Yeah, he said he ate it because it was in there for a long time. Oh my <laughs> he God. said, he was, I didn't want it. I said that was in there for a rainy day. Right. And he, he come. He said, Mr. Wayne. Girl. I can't. He said he was hungry. I was like, he was like, oh, he was like, I don't buy you lunch. I can't stand it. That's the same way somebody ate my oxtails. When my father what? made them. You don't remember when my father made them oxtails for no. me? No. And I bought them in there and I just knew I was. Oh, y'all know I don't play, you know I don't play both oxtails. He had made some oxtails and rice and literally. And I kept saying, I know I put my lunch in this damn refrigerator. But my thing is, and I said, I know we got two refrigerators. So I said, wait a minute, let me go check that one because we do have refrigerator. Two of them got one in the conference room, one in the break room. I said, right. well, let me go check. And I'm like, I know I put it in this break room, girl. Bag and all, and I said, the I bag cannot was gone, believe that. Or they put a bag in. No, the bag was gone. Everything was gone because I put it in a market bag. And I just was like, this is ridiculous. I was like, you can't leave nothing in here. Like, it got it had to be somebody on that ship. I'm <laughs> sorry. Was I about wasn't it. Even gone. You was, was talking about it like, ooh, I want these. I tell Girl, <laughs> and I know whoever ate it. I yeah, know they so. enjoyed them because, oh my God, when my father did them oxtails, mm, 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 that's all I'm going to say. But I was so mad. But I kept telling my sisters and them, I said, I'm going to get whoever did this. I'm going to go to so the So that's what they want to know. What you going to do? What you going to do? That's said, how they want to know how to come at it. I'm going to fix them. I said, you know, you know them chocolate stimulant, um, them, them chocolate bars, that's um, laxatives. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna fix them up. I say either I'ma do those, or I'ma go to the store and get some dog food and make some corn, <laughs> and make like I'm making meatloaf or something. Her elbow. <laughs> make a meatloaf, and I'ma put it on. We're put not giving on, you advice. Or I'm putting it, put it on the table and just say enjoy. But then they was like, no, 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 don't do that. That's not nice. That's not nice. Up, and I was like, you out. 
I'm just tired of people eating my stuff. They were yeah. like, well, this next time, just put a sign on the door or something. I'm like, of course, my sisters and them, they always want hard. They be like, don't do that. You can't do that. I said, yeah. well, I can put, first of all, I can find out who's going around eating people's shit. But I didn't <laughs> yeah, stop them. going to the back. Yeah, because I can put a lactase and something. It was like, you but can't you know do who that. Really, who I think you, who really on the eat people who, it be them surgeons because they be starving. You know what? It be them I residents and the fellows. Because remember, Brody used to always eat everybody's food. Mm-hmm. He used to be digging. I used to be like, Brody, you stop. You need to stop. He will be walking past you. Brandy. Past you eating with, your food. Wa- walking past. past you <laughs> and think nothing of it. And you'd be like. And I'd be like, where you get that from? Yeah, be like, out the oh, refrigerator. Out the refrigerator. I'm like. And I'd be like. What? Do you know what? You, well, it was in there. Or it could be literally. He can be walking from past with a patient. Coming he up did, from the hall, and, and he's, he will, if the break room was open, he had come, all you see is double tap back, oh, what's this, what y'all got? Don't you got a Greedy. patient, you out there, they be all right, they fresh are right. the table, fresh off the table. Fresh off the table, he come. But that's one I can say, they, I don't know if they don't eat, they might don't eat though. Like well, you that. know, they, they got to get up. they be in there all six that Six o'clock time. rounds, they got to take them down for that's why I'm thinking like, the maybe surgeons, that's why they, 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 they come in the there. It can be bread. They don't care what it is. Yeah, they be on food. And they will eat. But just because you hungry, don't eat nobody food. Like, don't. Take lunch. Just ask. Well, yeah, or ask. Just for ask, real. like, hey, is this anybody's But I don't know. They just Now I just do, like, community stuff. Because before I, just I used to put, in. like, salad dressing and stuff in there. But you already know. Once you put in the community, people going to use it. Yeah, because so, I put a bottle of hot sauce in there. And that shit going oh, on. You right. already know. You know how we used to be without hot sauce. They be going. And I'll be like, see, you now know what? in my new I don't job, no more. not in my new job, it's over the hospital, but now in my new place, we have mini fridges and we have like our that own space. Nice. <laughs> Keep out so so I'm not over be, in the ghetto. Nice. I'm not over in the ghetto with them no way having a fight yeah. over food and stuff. <laughs> but now we got to fight over who can put that food in there because that mama's pretty crowded. Getting, it's too crowded now. Even in both of them, it's getting crowded. It's ridiculous. Mm. And the, not my, and the well, man that said. Whoever, if it's food in there that look like it been there for three days, discard it. Cause how you gonna forget your lunch in there? Well, take your stuff happen. home. I know you ain't talking. Remember you left them chitlins. <laughs> girl, I know you. Yo, they uh, left some chitlins. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, and they um, found it when they was cleaning the thing. It was for oh, Thanksgiving. Yeah. They found it months later. They did. So it made they some did. rotten chitlins. They did. In a, I, See, ain't nobody time to open it up. They should never eat over there. They should just went away and throw it away. But I'm sorry. And make sure y'all put your stuff in the lunch bag. <laughs> and put your name and put a date on it so people can know, like, how far. Because that's the main thing in workplaces. They want you to date it because, you know, when they come cleaning up for Jacob. You know and don't Jacob put no, un, I don't put unopened stuff in there because somebody no. might not like you. <laughs> put something in your stuff. Yeah. You just never know. But, yeah. Mm-mm. Yeah. Don't do it. Okay. Someone asked, what are the things that keep your friendship enduring? Um, I don't know. I just feel like when you truly friends. Yeah, like, I mean, it really don't. It's nothing. We ain't already had no tough times. I was getting ready to say. It's no, just, it's just, it is what it is. Yeah, we don't. I mean, you want to see. I guess some people have, like, friendships that be term, like, you know, in term more, But I feel like. The we, other one, the other two. Oh, yeah. Well. You know how that But see. I blame that other one. Yeah. Because she waited to the last minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah. And I even was telling her. Because we all got <laughs> the invitation. You know what yeah, I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, I know. We I all know got the know. invitation. Yeah. And I even said, we was together when we got that invitation. So maybe, let's say. that hurt my heart when, yeah. when they in relation, when that all, when it went on sale. But they were saying something. But, but I so think that's So communication. Let's communication. say communication. Please communicate. Communicate with your friends. Please communicate. Because. Uh, things can get misconstrued. Yes, indeed. Because and if it goes too other far, friend, you don't want to mess with the other friend. Yeah, if y'all but think she, I'm bad, <laughs> you don't want to mess with who we'll New York. Mm, yeah, what did I call her? BK. I called BK. her BK. That BK. was a like, oh, you don't want to mess with baby. that one. Mm-mm. You don't want to mess with Brooklyn because she will straight snatch, 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 snatch. Angel, what was she? You know she would chat, 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 chat. And still be like, what? You know how she is? Yeah. She had no remembers of me. And I, that hurt my heart. Like, she had no remembers of this other one. Because even when I try to bring, because I'd be like, I'd be like, what about well, she reached up? out, she talked, we talked. 
you know, we keep it calm because she want to have a beach day. Mm-hmm. And here she go. And what you calling me? <laughs> and I'm like, I mean. And I'll offer for she ain't jibbing out to you. Oh <laughs> I just be like. I think she got me beat though. I said, and then I'll be like, well, you know, I'll be saying, you know, her son is getting big. You know, we want to get the boys back. You know, but she going to say, oh, that's nice. How you doing? And he's fine. Oh, well, I ain't too care for his mother. And I'm like, <laughs> you ain't got to say all that. You know what I mean? But that's just her. And I'm like. And literally, me and Light Bright literally was saying, because Light Bright said, she said, please tell me, Kibby, please tell me, if I ever get on Brooklyn Bad Side or do anything, <laughs> let me know, because I don't want to get chopped off how she chopped people off. I said, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. She I, mean well, and she's a lovable person, that's but... We are good people. We are, like, she just good, and when it comes to Okay, I'm going to tell you what it is. It feels like a betrayal. It, it, like, it is. It, it like, is. I don't feel like it is one. It is, because, like... And we take that back I told her, like, I even told that person, like... And that was a special... I put day. it in our face, like, you, you, you fucked up. Like, you should... I told you, like, I shouldn't yeah. even have to tell you this. You can't take time, five minutes time to let somebody know what you're going to do when they give you a, res- a reservation... For the most important day of their fucking life, where they yeah. want to share this intimate moment with you, like come on, be for real. Yeah. So, so that goes to show, like communicate, you know. communicate, communicate, and that's gonna lead us into our yeah. next question. Do you have an opinion about women who say they can't be friends with other women? What you mean by that? You know how some women be like, "Oh, I can't be friends with a whole bunch of women, or a whole bunch of women is drama." Like I can't be friends with girls. I mean, I don't, I don't, first it's of all, childish it's childish and insecure. You, That's what it gives. Yeah, because if, if she was to bring somebody around me, I'm open to meet anybody. Right. But I just think women who be like, oh, I can't be around a whole bunch of women. It's a bunch of drama. No. I feel like they the drama because yeah, I love like my girlfriends. Friends. They all yeah, I never come had from no different walks of life. Yeah, I never had issue with any of my they girlfriends. They all boss girls doing their thing and they, we all motivate each other to yeah. be better. Like, so I don't, don't no, that's rooted that's in uh, that gotta be with childish person. stuff, right? Yeah, like, jealousy like, and because yeah. I'm open to anybody yeah. like to bring. She bring friends around. My other friends bring. And I we don't, all just be yeah. intermingling. It's just yeah, all the big girls. Like, invite every, invite this and, person. Invite yeah, them. and normally it'd be like, hey, where your girlfriend at? Mm-hmm. That, 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 bring up, you know, like it's no. Yeah, I don't understand. Everybody don't is. It's a vibe. Yeah. yeah, it's a vibe. Okay. What keeps you going on the larger group trips? The larger group trips. We ain't never going to. I don't know. Some of the rest of the group, we went on the trip. Yeah. I we can't when, get Miss Mama. I know. This is Mama Bear. Mama Bear can't come out like that. So. It's not that. It's just that me having to find, find child care. care. Yeah. You know, and I'm for a long type of period person. of time. Yeah, for a long like period of time. Like five or something. That's a long time. Yeah, and not only that, like, watch your, it's your right kid, to yeah. watch your kid. And like, you may call it what you want, but I'm not that type to just leave my child with anybody. Pretty as you I can. can. I'm sorry. As you shouldn't, because um, you know, my immediate family, like my sisters and I'm they like they have mm-hmm. jobs, they have families, so I try to be considerate with them. Yeah. Of course, I'll leave them with them or my parents, but my parents are getting up in age, whereas though. I, I mean, I think the most they can do is maybe now two days with yeah. him. Because, <laughs> yeah. you know, he's not just one type. Of, he ain't that average kid that's going to sit there. Caleb would need to be entertained. You know what I mean? So, you know, I take consideration of that. I ain't going to talk about the daddy. Right, I, yeah, we ain't going to talk about, that. Talk but about we, that. But. He's sitting right here, um, <laughs> Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, and certain family. Yeah. But know. we're, I don't, I, I want so, us to do a cruise. Maybe. But Miss, I don't want to take him She don't want to get me. on the boat. And I don't want to take him you with me. You still scared on the boat? I mean, I don't want to get no rotor virus. Rotor virus. But I think I'm going to need that thing to put on the net. What's that thing that go on your net? Girl. For the motion. I'm going to need that. Because, okay. Because when I went out on the, what's that, that, um, what's that boat down in Arbor? I got on a boat at in Arbor and I got, I got queasy. For real, I got that little tiny boat girl cruise ships is big. All right, well, I because I was looking at the waves. They say I shouldn't have been looking at the waves or something, and I was looking at the waves. I'm sick of her. I'm, I'm sick just saying. Of, I'm okay. I just didn't like. It made me queasy. I'm so not, maybe if I don't go I'm nowhere near, maybe if I don't, maybe if I don't see no water, I'll be good. Okay, we'll stay in the inside of the boat. They got a casino. Uh-huh. 
a club. There's so much stuff to do on the inside of theater. As long as I don't see no water. Like, as long as it don't look like I'm on a water, I think I'll be all right. I just can't look at it. I'm telling you, when I was on the Inner Harbor, that Girl, was on the Harbor boat, of course, if I was. I was on the Inner Harbor boat, and we was out. We went over out of Annapolis. Okay. But you was on the Bay Lady? Yeah. Yeah, it was all right. <laughs> the bay, yeah, how old is that bay lady is, well, bro? That probably was the engine, probably was well, rumbling. Well, that was two tears because we did go up. Okay, cruise ships got about ship. 12, 14, 16, 18 tears. So, what you take? Elevators? It's elevator it? stuff. It's elevators in there? Inside the. In the I'll show you. It's all the boats. Yeah, how do you think people be getting around? I don't know. It's not the Titanic, girl. I don't know. I, I had know. to show you, girl. So we got to go in the pool. got elevators on top? Yes! They built elevators on a boat? Oh, wow. Okay. I'm going to hit the show. Yes, it's a good time. Is a movie theater? Yeah, it's everything. They, show, they do the movies out the up, on the deck. They, they show update movies. Like, yes, where I was out. Be the mo- yes, every night. Oh. So, it's 6 o'clock, and then they go, like, into the night. It be parties, everything. And the food is unlimited, right? It's yep. included with your, your package. Mm-hmm. Okay. You just pay for the drinking package. Well, if you want to buy a drink package. Well, you can't take like, liquor with you. You just one bottle of wine per person. We ain't getting to this. And this is one of the questions you got child. Okay. Someone else said, what qualities do you appreciate in each other? What qualities do I appreciate each other? Mm-hmm. What qualities do you appreciate about me? And then I was like, well, That she's a go-getter. That she don't mm-hmm. settle for nothing. She knows what she wants. Um, um, I love also how she look out for other people. Like, she definitely always looking out. For different jobs for me like what can you know and pushing me like she want you know push you she will push you to go further that's what i like about her definitely and i love that danielle's always so straightforward <laughs> about everything if i need some straight up advice i'm gonna come to danielle she will give it to you bro she is a sweet person she's inviting me into her family into yeah, her life or her child family. like everything danielle is so sweet she will do anything for you. And that's my girl. That is my girl. And they said, okay, well, what qualities are we trying to build in ourselves? So, what are you trying to build um, in yourself? What I'm trying to build in myself, I'm going to say my confidence of building myself, of of cheap, not being afraid to move to the next to thing, go higher. to go yeah. higher. Because it can be scary. Um, I don't know why. Because I always get these things, you know, my mind just start going like, what if what if this or what if this don't. But I'm learning from other people, like, you just can't think. You just got to do Step it. Step out on faith. Just go ahead and do it. Yep. Just jump. Just go ahead and do it. So, that. And I think, and myself, I'm trying to, I guess, like, let more stuff go. Like, let stuff fly. Because sometimes, like, if I feel like you did something, it be on, like, popcorn. Or I just yep. always keep, like, a mental note in my head. So, like, when you do come back around and ask me something, it's like, yeah, no. It's like, remember you did this? Oh, you don't remember? But I remember. Right. So, I'm just trying to work on just, like, letting stuff go and just keep moving on. I'm proud of you. That's good. That's the yeah. same thing with my sister. And I yeah. told her the same thing, like, because you just can't let it hold you. Yeah. I think it just, I think it's more of doing it for yourself than doing it for, for the other person. Yeah, like walking away from stuff. Oh, you'll be so proud of me, girl, because you know them people be acting up, down at that place. You know they do. I know. And a lot of times we walk around you, I just be like, okay. I be like, yep, that's fine. I just, it's just, it's giving okay and walk away. It's giving, yeah. I don't care. And I think when they see, like, oh, wow. She didn't Bless react. you. You didn't react. <laughs> it make them they, look stupid. Yeah, they look stupid. They looking for that. They looking for that side. But if you give them something Listen, different, lady, it's like, it been giving. Sounds good. Because <laughs> I just somebody do a whole bunch of. Sounds, sounds good. good. <laughs> <laughs> just like that. This is fake. <laughs> Maybe they be hot. Like, yes. Yes, because it's yeah. like what? What is is. It's, Ain't nothing gonna shut nobody gonna, up. It's not gonna change anything. But, but it sounds literally. good, or and they thank be like, you. Oh, okay, exactly. You know, like literally, like it's 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 worthless. Like literally, yeah. You know, people always try to do stuff to get a reaction. Out of, you know? Of course, and you just can't get them that. Mm-hmm. It's twenty twenty four. Yep, that's why we you don't look good in orange, Mm-mm. and we got orange is not my gold. color. <laughs> and we got goals and stuff to attain. Okay, 
So this is actually the last question. And they said, talk about a time that you remember each other really coming in clutch for you. Coming in clutch with me. Or like, um, what's something I did for you that I was like, you was like, oh my God, like, you saved me. Um, I'm trying to think. From like whooping somebody's ass or something? No, I mean, oh. it could be anything that you be like, oh, thank God. Um, was you there when uh, me and BK was running? What? BK. Remember when that lady said she was going to beat <laughs> Oh, I wasn't. I'm thinking, oh, I, was wasn't? Off. <laughs> I was off. I was off. But I heard, I came in and heard about it. <laughs> Yeah, I heard about that, but I just glad that my other good guy friend, yeah. he was there because he was like, they don't have nothing to lose, y'all do. Yeah. Let it go. Because one had a bag, something, get my backpack, get my backpack. Who said get the backpack, you? No. <laughs> no. Like, somebody <laughs> said, go get that backpack. And I'm like, <laughs> come was, on. That was BK because I was already walking out there. Then somebody, they went to go get her. They was like... They was like, Steve's get ready to. No. And then he, she was like, get my bitch. She was like, she was like, a bitch want to fight. We go fight. He was like, I can't hold both. He was like, I can't hold both of y'all. He was like, please, God. I love him. him. I love him. But he said, I told him, it ain't worth it. Please mm. don't. Don't do it. It ain't worth it. Leave it alone. But they came to grips and they listened. I'm trying to think. Um, I don't know. We always used to be doing stuff. When you know somebody needed something or. I don't know. Talk about time when you were with other really coming in the clutch. And clutch for you. I, I mean, I don't know. We always iffy. Yeah, like, always. It's always. I mean, I don't it. think it's never been nothing that she haven't been like she don't know about me. Yeah, you know, like. And if something happens, she know I'm right there. Yeah, and I know she happened, right there. Yeah, like I don't think it's ever been. It's always. Yeah, because even and even through the hardest times, which you for know, both us, for really. both of us, real like like I called and she was there. Like, oh, well, we was already there. Yeah. A lot of times. <laughs> Well, this is how we's already together. Okay? Right. So, I mean. We always coming in clutch for yeah, each other. If, if, if not me calling, somebody will call her and be like, I come look get up. there. <laughs> yeah, we be there. She <laughs> right there. So. <laughs> yeah, they already so know who to if call. I know I can't call her. Somebody calling her. And they and I look already up. already on the way. She, she, right, already. she already right there. And I'd be like, God damn, who called you? People, they know. I, know. I won't be out for the party. Yeah. They, they go out, they go party, they know I ain't coming for the party. Mm -hmm. But if it's something important, a wagon, yeah. a funeral, or an emergency, yeah. I'm outside. She I'm right out there. I'm outside. Like, well, damn. Yeah. You know, it's just crazy. Like, literally. Like, they, and that's when you really see who, who your friends who are. Friends are. Yes. That for, really. That is the one. Y'all know how we say the move or the story is. Yeah. When things get tough. tough. That's when you really yeah. figure out who your friends, friends are. Yeah, like literally, because you know, every time where I got calls in the mid hour, and I'm like, what? Mm -hmm. And you know, and you know, I just you just gotta show up, and like you you don't have to talk to somebody every day. Yeah, and you know, keep up. But when somebody you know need they you there for, them. and you know when your friends really need you, so. Cause I feel like I kind of fell out with a friend when I felt like they wasn't there for me, and I just feel like as a friend, you mm -hmm. know when your people need you. Yeah. You know when it's really like nine one one, or if you live out of town, it's like I'm hopping on that flight, or right. I'm on my way, or hang up. You ain't really got time me no more. Mm -hmm. So I feel like you really value your friend and, your, and true friendship and stuff like that. Like mm -hmm. some stuff just ain't even no conversation. It's yeah. like, well, I'm on the way. Right. Like, right. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I know when I had a hard loss, I mean, it was people, like, that I don't talk to all the time, frequent, mm -hmm. but I don't even know how they found out, but literally, like, they were there when mm -hmm. they, when I seen that viewing, people was coming through, and I'm like, well, God damn, who told, you know? And that was the same thing know? with my dad, too. It was yeah. a lot of people, I was like, oh, dad, I was like, I didn't even know yeah, like, you liked me like that. Right. I didn't know you fooled with me like that. That's what I'm like, saying. for real. I like, wow. Mm -hmm. And I think when I was with him, I think he was small. Because yeah. I brought him with me. Because yeah. I was like, he, he, was, he, was sleep. he was sleep the whole time. Yeah, that was 2018. Yeah. That was 2018. Mm -hmm. yeah, he, was, he, was he was like two or three. <laughs> right. So. Um, it's no excuse. No excuse. Like I said, like, I just went. You know, you just, you just show up. Be a good person. Mm -hmm. Be a good friend. Try to do the right thing. You already know what yep. goes around comes it around. Come right so back to you. Put your best foot forward and 
this is me and Kibby, and we are signing out. Oops. We hope so you guys time. enjoy the video. Bye. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> when I come through, man, you know that I be big balling. Work hard, play hard, man, I put my all in. The deal's getting bigger, man, they won't stop calling. They thinking that I'm mellow and I'm just recharging. Work hard, play hard, man, I put my all in. The deal's getting bigger, man, they won't stop calling. They thinking that I'm mellow.